EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. Austin, Texas, home of legendary Treaty Oak, plays host to this college football battle. Well, the sun's going down, but the temperature is still high for tonight's game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Texas Longhorns. And here come the Longhorns. Yes, it's the Lone Star Showdown. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, set to bring you another exciting game in the storied rivalry between these two Big 12 schools. The Longhorns are much too powerful to be stopped in this game. Kirk, what are your thoughts? Yeah, unfortunately, this one won't be much of a contest. Texas is going to dominate this football game, and they're going to do it with the running back. I mean, this guy is unstoppable. I expect a huge game for him in this game, Lee. I'm talking about 200 yards and three touchdowns at least. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Texas A&M is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk, and they're going to lose this one big. Texas a and lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Here's the kick. Number five, fields it at the two. Kickoff return, 16 yards. Number five on the return. First and 10, ball on their own 17. First and 10. They line up with trips to the right. They go with the run. They'll bring him down. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Longhorn line up with three wide. Here's the option left. And they make the stop. So they pick up three on the option keeper. Third and six. Ball on the 21-yard line. Texas in a four-wide set. Back to pass. He's under pressure. Throws it to the outside. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what. This defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. They send out the punting unit. Punts the ball away. Number seven fields it at the 41. With the spin. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. They'll go to work at the 43-yard line. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Has time. He rolls out to the right. 
And now he's going to improvise. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. Gained up two on the play. Third and eight. Ball on the 41. They come out at a nickel. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws this one out to the right. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Plenty of hang time on this one. Number 22, call for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the eight-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shop at the eight. Number 32, the lone back. They go with the run. And he's tackled. That'll be a gain of three yards. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 11. Texas lines up in a shotgun set. Draw play. Juke move. And down he goes. What a huge run. Remember, this kid can fly. You saw in that run how he just took off and left everybody else looking like they got lead in their shoes. First and 10. Ball on their own 21. From the gun, back to pass, throws to the middle, and that one's fallen incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. Number 10, lines up in the shotgun. the option brought down the option keeper gets him two maybe three yards third and seven coming up here and this is the fifth play of the current drive number 10 is back in the gun they go with the option he laterals the ball and he's hit hard Good job of wrapping up the big fullback and not letting go. That can sometimes be a tough thing to do to pull down a big, strong fullback from home. Nice play. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it off. Number seven, fields it at the 40. Spin move. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll take over at the 43-yard line. The Longhorn bring in their dive package. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 45. They come out with three wide receivers on the ground with a tailback. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Three yard gain on the play. Third and five, ball on the 48-yard line. One man back for you. Setting up the play action. He's going to go for the home run. Someone got a hand on it. 
Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Looks like they're going to put it away here. Number 30 boots it way up there. Number 3 fields it at the 27. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He tries to spin. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Second and 11. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Longhorn come out in a shotgun. It's a direct snap. And he's tackled. Eight yards on the pickup. Gain of eight on the play. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 35. Texas lines up in a goal line set. They'll throw for the first. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think the offensive line missed a block there. It was a missed assignment. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker's going to get credit there for the sack. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. So they're set to pump this one away. Number 97 gets it off. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Number one is back in the gun. Back to pass, looking down the middle, and it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and 10, ball on the 36 yard line. They come out in a nickel. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. The running back gets two on the carry. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 38. Texas lines up in a dive defense here. Drops back to pass. And they try to set up a screen. They wrap him up. They'll bring him down. And that's three and out. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 30, punched it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. And it's out of bounds at the 43 yard line. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense is not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. The Longhorns line up in an eye formation. He drops back. Here's an opening. He's going to take off. And he shoved out of bounds, and he turned that one into a nice game. Brad, this is a spectacular play by the quarterback. He caught the defense napping, and whoo, he took off. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. 
Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. It's a direct snap. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Three-yard gain on the play. The second down and seven to go. Ball on the 37. East backfield. They are going to pitch it. And they make the stop. No gain. No gain on the play. Third down and seven. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Aggies line up with six defensive backs. They go with the option. He fakes a pitch, and now he pitches it, and he's taken down. They do manage a few yards, but they'll still be faced with a fourth down. I'm not sure about that play call, Brad. They send out the punting unit. Number 97 gets it off. Number 19 signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. The Aggie set up in the gun. They'll give it off here. Spinning. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. The second down and seven to go. Ball in the 23. The Longhorns line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. Throws short. And he's tackled. How do you like that pass, Lee? I don't know about the pass, but the result, a first down, ha, that's what I like. First and 10. Ball on their own 30. Number 25 lines up in a deep back, I formation. And they make the stop. Texas A&M takes a timeout. Right. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 35. From the gun, drops back to pass. Down the middle. Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. The Aggies come out the shotgun. They'll bring him down. Texas calls a timeout. see the punt team. Number 30 gets it off. Number three fields it to 31. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 35-yard line. Number 32 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He drops back. He's looking down the middle. Couldn't haul it in. Nice pass, just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you got to catch the easy ones. Second and 10, ball on the 35-yard line. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun, throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. Nice timing by the safety to get in there and knock it away. That's what his job is, and he did it perfectly on that play. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 35. Number 32 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. He's rolling right. Throws this one out to the right. Brought down. 
They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. First and ten. Ball on the 47. The Longhorn set up in the gun. Here's the option. And down he goes. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Texas takes a timeout. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 32 is the single setback. Back to pass. There he goes! And now he's going to run. Tackle. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Looks. Just throws this one away. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 18. Texas lines up with three receivers. Here's the give. Spins upfield. Brought down. They get about five yards from the halfback. Single set back to you. A little new direction. They'll bring him down. Couldn't get anything out of that. No game on the play. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. Texas calls a timeout. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. He gets it up. And it's good. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. Kicks it off. Number seven fields it at the two. Little shake and bake move. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Texas 3, Texas A&M nothing. Texas got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. And they'll be returning this one. Number seven fields it at the seven. Makes a move. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. Texas brings in their nickel package. Across the middle, and he dropped it. He took his eyes off the ball and dropped it. You gotta squeeze that ball, then think about where you're gonna go. So 
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Number one is back in the gun. Uh-oh, high snap. Throws it to the outside. Tackle. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Here's a handoff, left side. Brought down in the open field. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. Two tight ends set. Toss. Wants to throw outside. He's got it! I don't think the defense was quite ready for that one, and they give up a first down and good yardage. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Texas lines up in a dime defense here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. Here they come. And they got him. And the big fella gets a sack. Well, for being such a hog molly, he can move a lot better than I thought. Oh, well, yeah, Kirk. You didn't call him hog molly when you saw him at the hotel. Second and long coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. And this crowd is going crazy. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Throws to the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Here's a third and long situation. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back to pass. Looks. Rolling out to the right side. He gives a pump fake. Under heavy pressure. And now he's going to improvise. Excellent open field tackle. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding. Only on the Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 30 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 7 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 15-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 15. Texas sets up in the eye. Center play. And he stopped behind the line. Defensive lineman was in the backfield on that one. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. The Longhorn with four receivers. He drops back. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. Quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Third and 11. Ball on their own 14. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. Complete. And he's level. What a hit. Solid gain, guys, but short of the first down. Yeah, that was a nice gain. Although it didn't get him the first down, it gives him a little bit more confidence in moving the football against this defense later on in the game. And they're ready to punt this one away. 
Number 97 punts it, and it's a good one. Number seven takes it at the 33. He spins. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 36. The Longhorn bring in the nickel package. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Wants to throw outside. And he dropped it. Dropped by the tight end. Second and ten. Ball on the 36. Number one lines up in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. An eight-yard gain. With the carry. Gain of eight on the play. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 44. Texas A&M comes out with an eye formation. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. And he's tackled. And that'll be good enough to move the sticks. Yep, Brad. First and ten. Do it again. Pound the ball ahead. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Aggies come out in a shotgun. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 46. The Longhorn bring in their dime package. Looking. It's tipped. Almost picked off. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Texas brings in their nickel package. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. They're going to have a hard time getting first downs if this quarterback doesn't step up his play. Yes, this isn't what we're used to seeing this guy do. You know what, though? Every quarterback has these kind of days on a football field. You've just got to be able to move on and forget about that last series. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 30, boots it way up there. Number three, fields it at the 24. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. At the 26-yard line, first and 10. Going with the shotgun here. They'll throw on first down. And he's going to come up with a sack. A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with the pressure to bring down the quarterback. Only a field goal separates these two teams as we move to the fourth quarter. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 16. The Aggie line up with six defensive backs. Looks. Here he goes. He spins around. And he's taken down. Third and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. Texas sets up in the eye with the spin, and down he goes. 
They look to be outmanned on that series, guys. Not even one first down. That's not what the offensive coordinator had in mind. Yeah, but I can't argue his play calling. They just didn't execute. They send out the punting unit. Punts the ball away. Number seven takes it to 28. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shop at the 45-yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. They'll throw on first down. Rolls right, and they get the sack, and they get a nice defensive play. Well, here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. Second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 38. And this place is rocking. He steps up. He's looking. Throws back across field. The ball is tipped. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 38-yard line. Number one has four receivers lined up here. Drops back to pass. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They just got to the quarterback for the fourth time today. This offensive line has to be able to protect the quarterback better. They're giving up sacks left and right. get all of that one number three signals for a fair catch and they make the fair catch at the 40 this defense did a good job on the last series they forced the offense to go three plays and out and now they're looking to go off of that and shut them down again right here ace backfield he drops back throws this one out to the right finds his receiver and he's taken down and he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Number 10 with three wide receivers. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. 10 yard penalty. And they're going to lose yards on that one. Oh, they're not helping their cause here by moving in the wrong direction. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Aggies bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Steps up. Looking. Under pressure. He's going right. Spin move. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. First and ten. Ball on their own 34. 
Texas A&M comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. The gunslinger couldn't hit his receiver on that pass. I wonder why. Could it have been because it was thrown in the next county? So it's second and ten. Ball in the 34. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. That close to being intercepted. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Aggie set up in the gun. Throws it to the outside. Couldn't haul it in. Incompletion after incompletion. This coach might have to have a talk with his quarterback and try to get him settled down out there. I don't know if talking to him is such a good idea right now. That coach looks pretty upset. And hey, maybe just seeing the backup warming up will scare him into playing better on the next series. That's always an idea for a coach. And this place is rocking. They need this pass. He's going left. The ball is tipped. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. They're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll start this drive at the 34. Brought down. Texas A&M takes a timeout. Congratulations to our Old Spice players of the game. Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Four wide. Again with a carry. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Texas A&M calls a timeout. Third and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Number 32, the lone back. He drops back. Across the middle, got it. They'll bring him down. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and 10. Ball of the 22. They line up in the jumbo set. He'll get the call again. And he's taken down. Texas A&M takes a timeout. Second down and five. This is the fifth play of this drive. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. They'll try to power it to the fullback. Tackle. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. So another third down upcoming for the offense. High formation here. On the ground, up the middle. He jukes him. And they make the stop. Short little game there, just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field.
This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, what do you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Texas A&M had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. And we thank you kindly for participating in NCAA Football 2005. Our final tally in this game, Texas 3, Texas A&M nothing.